Hello, hello, and welcome to a new lesson of the series of tutorials. And just let me turn off the groom there. And let's start with the freeze. So let's remove that one. And we're starting with one of the most important ones. I think could be the most important one of all the modifiers or the operators as we call them here in Houdini. This one is the freeze. The freeze is similar to the way the wave, but this the freeze works on a vector 3D space for global noise. So, if you remember, the wave was just amplitude and a scale, frequency and amplitude. Sorry, so you had an amplitude and how frequent they were. So, you could increase the amplitude or the frequency on the noise. Contrary to that, we have a frequency, yes but we also have an amplitude, but this amplitude doesn't behave in one single uh, direction. So we don't have X and Y. We actually have this noise happening on the three axes at the same time. So it's not a 2D noise as the wave that compiles, so comprises both this one and this one to get kind of this result the noise is just a random movement that we will have by the combination of the three axes. So the frequency here is going to comprise or compress, how oh, I don't know why I say comprise every time, uh, to compress accordingly the curve and the moment that you add the amplitude, it will behave the same and it will adjust the curve or the amplitude of the distribution or the deformation that's the correct word. And you also have a limit to representative values. So something that is human and in relationship to the actual values of the room. But you can just not do that. Also, we have random frequency that this is going to take the values that we set. And if you put 25 here, you can see that we have some that have no effect and some that have full effects. So this will change the frequency to a full value if and I have something like 0.5 on this, 0 0.05, and I put, put my random amplitude to 0 0.05, you can see that we can get some of them without any effect at all. But if we keep increasing this, then we will have a positive or negative value from the input of the amplitude. So basically the random amplitude, it's going to take the amplitude or the frequency as the middle ground. And if you put the same value here, some of them are going to have zero effect because it gets multiplied. So it gets contra, uh, what's the word? Or it gets completely null because of the contraposition of both. And if you increase, you're going to get more deformation. And if you increase of the other direction, you will get more deformation. So it's basically a middle ground between both. And that's what the random amplitude will do. If you have the same effect here, you can see how they turn in one direction and they go and turn in the other direction accordingly. So that's important to notice. And this is basically how the noise works here. It's really nice. I actually like it a lot. And if you want, you can then add a scale on top of this that will be linked. And then you have some kind of crazy flyaways, but we will see that on a later lesson. After this lesson, we will run into the masking options that we have for the node itself. Again, we have override textures and we can override each of them accordingly to our needs. So thank you for following this tutorial and see you on the next one.